right, man. Check out check out these writers, man, and, and uh some of these articles they writing hating on these fighters. Um just kind of go through through these for a minute and just show like and don't nobody even read these shits. I don't even read them because I don't or I can't show the footage, so I get to read the manuscript instead of showing the footage on how anal YouTube is, you know, especially that Chinese bitch that covered boxing and shit. Um flagging my channel for a video that wasn't hers. I just never had an opportunity or the time to sit down to to counter it. Like, come on, man. Fuck up out of here, man. You shouldn't. You a woman, man. Like, get out of here, man. You, you lying. And don't know what the hell you talking about. I see her. I check the shit out of her ass. I ain't even gonna lie. I'm gonna check the shit out of her. She called security whoever the fuck she didn't call, too. Because that was some hoe ass shit. Because that wasn't even your footage. But, uh, whatever she is, um, I ain't gonna say that bra's name. Go cover, go cover WNBA or something. But uh, just check out some of these these articles. Haney's tunnel vision leading straight to an empty arena. Just 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 notice that this notice a trend. It's not a black and white thing. Just know or a black and Mexican. Terrence Crawford's coast on past glory while his career stalls. Right. Just, just pay attention to some of these things these, these guys write. Benavidez Canelo obsession. Is it stalking at this point? Just, just, just no, just notice like the shit that they write. And notice the name, Dan Amber Rose. These are the type of dudes that write Chris Williams. He's a bitch. I have no problem saying it to his face. I don't know who this Ken Wood dude is. They have the Boxing News 24 and WorldBoxingNews.net has the worst writers, the most biased writers of all time. Tickets for Haney Garcia, train wreck, slow motion. Even with Connor Ben, Connor Ben uh, versus Boots in, it's a publicity stunt so bad it's laughable. How's it a publicity stunt when they sent the offer to fight Javante Davis as well, too? I also think they was trying to fight Danny Garcia. Danny Garcia, I'm not sure of this, probably priced, his ass, priced itself out. So how, how are we talking about a public how are we talking about a publicity stunt? How are we talking about a publicity stunt? Hey, think about that for a minute. How are we how are we talking about a publicity stunt? You notice when it's a certain fighter today that they uh you know, it's a certain fighter today that they like. Or they back Canelo, Errol Spence, Jerron Ennis. You know, is when somebody pursue them, when somebody pursue them, what is it? It's protection. How do we, how do we, how do we, how are we protecting the duckers? And that just lets you know they bad writers. They're not calling the how they see it. And ain't nobody paying no writers no more to write this shit. Cause ain't nobody watching. If they're going to pay anybody, they're going to pay the influencers, the dudes on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, who have real clout. Complete fool David Benavidez apologized for a drunk interview. Phil J is another guy at worldboxnews.net that's a fucking idiot. Well, he's a complete fool. And, and, and man, come on, is that necessary, bro? Is that is that necessary? To call the man a complete fool... For drinking, if he's such a complete fool, you know what I'm saying, and and he trash and he ass and all that other stuff, then why won't Canelo Alvarez fight a drunk? Riddle me that. Why won't Canelo Alvarez fight a drunk? Come on, if he's not ready for Canelo Alvarez and he a bum and all this type of shit, come on. Why you got to ask yourself why are these writers protecting the duckers? Think about that. And you got a lot of YouTubers doing the same. Well, you know, uh, he ain't got the the the, the pay-per-views to do it. Man. And a lot of these guys like Canelo Alvarez fought John Ryder, fought Calvin Smith. You know, Earl Spence was around here fighting Sean Porter, and they wasn't even, they was barely doing 200,000 pay-per-view wise. He fighting or Dennis Ugas. What Ugas did that Crawford didn't deserve to do? You know what I'm saying? Uh, Jerron Boots Ennis, he trying to fight, uh, uh, Cody Crowley. I mean, how much more, as long as they drug test Conor Ben, you know, how much more clout do Cody Crowley got a Conor Ben? No, Conor Ben, he gonna make more money fighting Conor Ben. I'm telling y'all, a lot of these, these promoters out here, 
they are protecting these fighters. And if a fighter ain't as part of they ain't part of their plan or ain't part of their company, guess what they want to do? They want to protect them because they don't know. They already don't know how to match make. How many fighters that PBC then got beat by late late minute replacement Rail Venezuela, Chris Colbert? Um, it, it's been a bunch of them. One too many, bro. One too many. So once you, once you, I guarantee you, these same writers are dick sucking Benavidez, dick sucking Crawford at one point. But then when they started to become rivals to their favorite fighters, these these writers couldn't be non biased. They couldn't be non biased. Well, look, Canelo, are oh, you trying to fight Canelo? That's what you're supposed to do in the sport of boxing. It's competitive. And most of these dudes ain't never competed at any sport at any level. So they can't understand the competitive nature of this shit. Most of these dudes ain't never competed at no level. They don't know nothing about competition. Watch these dudes be fat, out of shape. Like 7'8", fat ass. When do you think 7'8", at 5'5", five, five, ever competed? Probably ever been in a fight, bro. Come on, man. When do you think some of these niggas ever been in a fight? Negro fight fan was telling niggas that he can't even fight. That's why he's a pussy. Nigga, he can't even fight. And you talking about boxing. You he tell you know I can't even fight, man. Yeah, he going around telling niggas behind the scenes he can't fight. Beat his monkey ass. That bench press ain't gonna help that nigga because he can't fight. These niggas is goofy. You can tell people who 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 never competed at any sport. Because anybody that competed that been in competition, they ain't wired that way. Who really was about that shit, they ain't wired that way. Even if you was known to be that nigga in the hood, ain't nobody wired like that to protect the nigga. Who don't want to fight? No, get your ass out there. Remember, Isaiah Thomas for the Pistons said that he was running home from a bully. His mama made him go out there, even though the guy was bigger than him, and she made him fight him. Remember the Jackson movie when Joe Jackson was making Jermaine, showing Jermaine how to fight? People forgot. I think Joe Jackson was a was a professional fighter. Rest in power to him. He was walking to walking through Jermaine how to fight. A lot of y'all niggas ain't had that. A lot of y'all ain't got no competition. A lot of y'all nerds hide behind the keyboard, looking worse than Dan Raphael. Talking about, well, you know, that's why they ain't got their pictures on their profile or nothing like that. And y'all, y'all protecting fighters. Why we? This is why the sport, sport the way it is. This is this is why the sport the way it is. This is this is why the sport the way it is. Cause you got people actively against big fights, repeating what the what with with uh competing with with, with Leonard Ellaby and Samson Tulawiski and sometimes Bob Merriam and these guys are saying, well, it doesn't make business sense. Okay, if it don't make business sense, then I ain't supporting shit else to I get it. So then tell me and tell me how that make business sense then. Tell me how that make business sense then. Let me let me know how that work. I'm not watching that shit. That's why I stopped watching all that shit, bro. If it don't pique my interest, I won't watch it. I won't cover it. Now, if it end up being a good fight, I'll go back, watch the highlights, rewatch the fight or something like that. Yeah. But all this, this, these and y'all influencers, y'all writers and all that, that shit gotta stop, bro. This got to stop. Real talk. It got to stop. It, it got to stop. We should be pushing for these guys to fight the big fights. And a lot of them Earl Spence dudes that was going around saying, oh, let's marinate the fight. Now what they saying, well, no, I will marinate it too much. I'll fuck the fight up. And no, 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 no. Y'all said let's marinate it. It didn't age well. He got that ass. He used to get that ass beaten. 20... 2020, 2018, 2016, he's getting his ass beat regardless what type of Earl Spence he is. He don't have a great skill set. If y'all fuck if y'all felt Canelo was about that life, if y'all felt that these dudes was really that good, hey man, if you got a game dog and you got a top dog, you're gonna put him in there, you're gonna put him in there any with any and everybody. Well, Terrence Crawford career has stalled, and then what about Earl Spence? Terrence Crawford still looking shape. 
What about Errol Spence? Come on, what about Errol Spence? They won't talk about everything. What about them PBC pay-per-views? Come on, what about the PBC pay-per-views from March 30th with Zoo and Fondora? Where's the nasty articles around, around them at? Come on, where 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 the articles about about how that flopped? But y'all running with lies. Some old Devin Haney only did 50 50k, and then and, and, okay, what this did? Because I told y'all this shit wouldn't even do ten thousand pay per view buys. Where are they articles about that at? Like I said, like I said, like I said, like I said. They pick and choose what they want to expose and push a narrative. These niggas ain't even respecting these. They ain't even pumping no money to no writer. I guarantee you they're not paying writers no more. They used to pay them niggas under the table to write them racist ass, um, to write them racist ass articles. They used to pay them to write them racist ass articles. They're not paying these dudes no more. They're not. So come on, dude. Get you. Call it, call it, call it, call Try to be not biased. Call it how you see him. Call it how you, how it's going down. Come on. Call it how it's going down. That's it. Call it how it's going down. So, thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notification. Appreciate your chance to get notifications. We go live and drop video. Uh, financially, you want to support the channel. Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Venmo, CJ Good 313. PayPal link in the description. Appreciate the love support. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Peace.